Hello, hello, welcome to a Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Uh, I never play this game, I never watch this game, so this is gonna be a blind playthrough. So we're gonna play with the man, the legend, big boss. Boom, right there. So this is like a what happened after Metal Gear Solid 3 and before 5. So I think the game is set on the 70s. The for Metal Gear Solid 3 is on the 60s, this one is on the 70s. <clears throat> so let's see what happened with a uh, big boss after he became big boss basically here we go Griffin, the year is 1964 the world was firmly in the grip of the cold war divided into east and west this is very similar to the solid three intro one of america's heroes had defected to the soviet union the boss we already know this if not go watch metal Gear solid three Okay, they're giving us a little bit of a recapitulation on the previous game. On the previous story. Boss. Good training. Yeah. Bro, boss hasn't talked yet. I want to hear I want to hear uh, David. Uh, snake. Wait, who this? Bro. <laughs> he looks so weird. He looks like he has amnesia or something. He doesn't remember what happened before. <laughs> Going on, Kaz. Ooh, Kaz. We've got guests. Kaz who hit a miller is here, boys. Don't worry, it's not our friends from Langley. I brought him. Made sure we won't follow. The real Thank you, Big Boss. Call me Snake. Oh, uh, sorry, Vic Boss. Listen up. For us, there is no victory. But in revolution, doesn't one triumph or die? We don't do either. Go back to the academy, kid. He has like an S, like a snake on his... Bro, that's so good, yeah. So Miller will be the... Here. Ah, uh, thank you. Solid Snake, a mentor. Mm. I feel like a new man. There's no coffee like Costa Rican coffee. Costa Rica? So, what brings a distinguished scholar from the Costa Rican government to Colombia? Professor Galvez comes from Costa Rica's University for Peace. Ramon Galvez Mena. You okay. see... Over the past year, there have been sightings of an armed group in Costa Rica. They're not ours, of course. Costa Rica doesn't have an army. Correct. Article 12 of our constitution states that the army as a permanent institution is abolished. The peace constitution. You think it's rebels who fled Nicaragua? No, no, they don't appear to be guerrillas. They're far too organized. What's your government's take? The authorities in San Jose claim it's a multinational security firm, hired by the Development Corporation of Costa Rica. Lies, obviously. 
They're bringing in state-of-the-art weaponry and equipment by the shipload. Where'd they get that kind of cash? I fear La Cia may be involved. The CIA. As you both know, the United States views Central America as its backyard. Even after Cuba, we've managed to maintain a delicate balance with the U.S. And your government can't just give them boot. We are not allowed to bear arms. Japan's constitution has something similar. Article 9. It says Japan renounces war and can't maintain an army. Is that, is that so? I understand that you and your men have neither state nor ideology. That you will fight any foe. Please, you must drive them out of our defenseless country. So they are hiring a private... They come to you, the Militaire Sans Frontières. So, you want to hire us? Yes, as our deterrent. We can't afford to pay much, it's true. But... We can offer you this. A forward operating base. An offshore plant in the Caribbean. Sounds pretty good to me. This place is becoming a mess anyway. Snake, we need some place we can settle down. The governments agreed to cooperate. Unofficially, of course. A chopper for transport would be nice too. I'll see what I can do. Hold it. You seem to think we're just a pack of dogs of war. Is that right? Yes, that's what I've heard. Wow. You're an army without a state. No, we've only left our countries behind. Please, you must help us. If your suspicions are true, force isn't going to do any good. You'll have to find a political solution. The government's hands are tied. Go back to your bosses in San Jose. Tell them if they want, I'll introduce them to a negotiator I know. No. I'm not here. Trying to be behalf. diplomatic? So, what are you doing here? For over 20 years, I've preached the virtues of peace at multiple universities. Tonight, I stand before you as an educator. <laughs> this is my student. She came to me to study peace. Her name is Paz. Paz Ortega. Paz Ortega Andrade. Paz well, I already play Paz. the Phantom page, so... No kidding. That's my name, too. Kazuhira. It's Japanese for peace. We have peace all over the place. Pleased to meet you, Paz. Kazuhira, Paz, Peace Call Volker. Me. Kaz. Uh. They've got a supply port north of Puerto Limon, a town in La Costa del Mar Caribe. A few days ago, Paz stumbled upon that facility while searching for a lost friend. She was captured. Is so cool. She's only a child, 16 years old. They did terrible things to her. But somehow, she managed to escape. Oh... My god... She's Huerfana. Her mother died when she was small. And she lost her grandparents in the Civil War. She hates war with a passion like no other. Oh, you can see, like, the my marks of the church room here. And I will do anything to protect my namesake. It is my one and only purpose. Please, get them out of my country. Make them leave Costa Rica. Sorry, kid. We know who you are, big boss. That is why we've come to you. They know my identity. Hmm. Prologue, an army without borders. A military sans frontiers. Okay. I'm glad I'm playing this game before 5. Because this game happens before 5. November 10th, 1974. Oh, here we Do you copy, Snake? I see you've landed. That makes one giant leap for us. I'm sending this from the offshore plant, our mother base. The signal is unidirectional. 
I'll be giving you commands and advice through this channel. Keep your headphones on at all times and pay attention. Also, make sure no one else can listen in. Snake, are you clear on the controls? Take a minute to refresh your memory. Use the left stick to move. Use the right stick to adjust your view. Okay, so these are my items. I have surround indicator, Use the ration, and the binoculars. And these are our weapons. We have an M16. We have a stun rod. Oh, and on the top right, if it's blue, that means it's non lethal, right? Grenade, CQC. Okay, so we go with the MK22, a classic of this channel. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, very interesting. On the top right, you can see a percentage. I'm guessing that's the visibility we have or enemies have on us. And. Auto aim. No, I don't want auto aim. This is our map, okay. Original map. Cops. Mission details. Investigate the supply facility in Puerto de Alba, de Alba. Or process in prison. Okay, how do you use the codec? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Aim. There's no one around. Why not try some shooting practice? Select a target and squeeze off a round or two. Press the directional buttons while holding the R2 button to switch weapons. Ready your weapon with the L1 button. Then press the R1 button to fire. How about a little shooting practice? Try hitting a coconut. A coconut? Select equipment by pressing the coconuts. square or circle button while holding the L2 button to check your map. Press the start button to open the menu. Alright, so we need to get at the a granata. And then boom. Hey, don't you think you could use a little more practice? Nope. <laughs> no practice. We got this shit, bro. I gotta thank you for agreeing to this snake. This is liquid. Man, am I glad to be out of here. Finally, we can leave all that crap in San Geronimo behind. Break into the mercenary business for real. Let me guess. You're doing it for her. For aren't her. You? For her. For her. He jugado todos los Metal Gear. Neth. Hasta este. Están todos en el canal y en el YouTube también. Are they still here? Come on, Snake. This could be good for us. They're willing to give us an offshore plant, a place we can finally put down some roots. This is our chance to expand MSF. We don't need a place to stay, guys. We're nomads. We always will be. What about outer heaven, bro? You'd rather keep wandering from conflict to conflict? Tools in the hands of whoever's fighting at the time? The second we settle down, who's to say we won't become the warmongers? Listen to me, Snake. We're not mercenaries. We're not a foreign legion. MSF's a business. A mm. new kind of business. I don't agree with that, though. Look, it's That's not, not what the boss wanted. Start a war here. All we need to do is find out who this security company really is. Come on, Kaz. It's pretty obvious that they're backed by the CIA. Wait a sec. That would mean... Our friend, the Professor, is likely KGB. I see. We'd be making an enemy of our homeland. And there'd be no turning back. Hmm. Ah, this damn thing won't light. Huh? Put on some coffee, cuz. It's time for a little chat with the Professor. Nice was technology. A smoker. When I got my medal from the Secretary General, he gave me this prosthetic hand as well. But smoking was ruining my lungs, so I quit. I've not had much use for it since. It's quite an honor to meet the legendary Big Boss.
That's just a code name the CIA made up. Then perhaps I should call you John. <laughs> I don't have a name. You stopped using that code name you liked so much ten years ago. What about you, comrade? What do they call you back at center? Well then, allow me to get straight to the point. <laughs> Land as slim as a whip, hot as torture. That's the Chilean poet, Neruda. Central America is the navel of the American continents, bridging north and south. Is Pablo Neruda from Chile? We'll build a socialist stronghold, then use it to split the Americas in two. America would lose its backyard. And with it, its economic production, shipping lanes, and strategic value. We, on the other hand, would gain a base from which all of Latin America would be well within our reach. He who controls Central America will win this Cold War. First comes Nicaragua, toppling the pro-American Somoza regime. In preparation, We've begun instigating anti-Samosa sentiment and providing aid to the Sandinista National Liberation Front. You're manipulating Sandinista into overthrowing Samosa for you. After the revolution, isn't this Nicaragua like the war economy kind of state? You think America should be happen? against all this Certainly shit? Not. After all, the CIA is already here. Unless we decide. And that's the armed group inside Costa Rica. Precisely. Mm -hmm. It's clear that they've been sent in to disrupt our efforts across the border in Nicaragua. Simply put, the army now stationed in Costa Rica is CIA capital. But it's more complex than that. The CIA's got something else planned as well. What? That is the million dollar question. Big boss, we want you and your unit to find the answer. This is not gonna be a solo mission. Infiltrate this is gonna be like, uh, we're gonna have support. In Costa, where Paz was imprisoned. With our Learn units. all you can of their operations. Then, drive them out of the country. You're asking us to settle a turf war between the KGB and the CIA. What about her? That was all just an act? Hmm. You mean her words about peace? She was captured, that much is true. But I've kept my KGB affiliation from her. And you thought we'd fall for a sob story? No. I had good reason to bring her along. She managed to escape with her life, but her friend was not so lucky. Why were they attacked? I believe this will help explain. Perhaps they saw something they weren't supposed to. Perhaps they heard something they shouldn't have. A cassette tape? Pass took a Sony cassette escape. tape, bro. She says her friend happened to record it by accident. What is that? A portable <laughs> stereo cassette player. The first of its kind. Ah, I heard they were working on something like that in Japan. Didn't know you guys were too. I believe what you're about to hear will help you understand. Hey. What is that? A Quetzal? The Phoenix Bird. Pass's friend was researching birds. She went out into the jungle to record bird calls and stumbled upon this. So? So what? Is that coat Morse? Now it gets interesting. Unless you kill it. Go home. Pause. 
Voice sprint analysis confirms that this voice is indeed that of the legendary hero and criminal, the boss. W what? The other hasn't been identified. Female in her 30s with a British accent. The song playing in the background was a hit in 1973. What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your mentor? Your mission or your beliefs? I... Hmm? Huh? I am loyal to myself. Boss is alive in Costa Rica. As I understand it, she was your commander, fought by your side. And that you killed her under orders from the CIA. Thus surpassing her to become the hero known as Big Boss. It's gotta be a trap. Yeah. So you still can't turn your back on your country. Then I hate I his grim. You won't need this. Wait! It's my need for letting you, bro. Then. <laughs> uh, Peace Walker, we need to finish the game without killing anyone. Also, Ness, uh, since 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 you haven't been here in a while, I change uh, to all English. So if you can respect that, please. There they are, CIA mercs. Snake, you've got to get past them. Undetected. Did I not put this thing? Avoid combat whenever Oops. possible. Avoid combat. No, kill everyone. Okay. This is a sneaking mission. Hide behind stuff. Take the long way around. Whatever it takes to stay out of sight. Your gun is a last resort. It could just as easily kill you as save you. I guess there is suppressors uh to press up against a wall, face it and hit the action button. From that position, you can press the L1 button to detect enemies. That also works while lying down. Can I carry him? We can't all loot him. Not enough room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base. Okay, I see how each game connects with the next so well. The, right the mechanics especially shows sound sources. Pay attention to your surroundings. Oh, that gives you how much sound you're making, I see. Keep your eye on what's left of your life gauge on the left of the screen. To the right of that, you'll see your sight gauge. Exhausting it will inhibit your actions. Your life gauge will recover with time. The sight gauge, too. The percentage in the upper right is your camo index. The lower the number, the more easily you'll be spotted. Conspicuous movements and loud noises will compromise your camo index. Your fatigues will act as camouflage. You'll recover faster crouching than standing up. Lying flat works even better. What is that number? Is it like a score of this sh how well you shoot? Not really sure. Also, where do I have to go? This way? I'm already... Oh. Okay, pretty simple level design. I kind of want to get this. Okay, let me test. This is a test. Can I walk behind an enemy? That makes a lot of noise. Enemies close by. What? When you clear the jungle, you'll be there. Head east. So they don't get knocked down when you do the CQC. You see. Maybe you have to do it twice. Okay. I only have five bullets left. 
Um, I'm not sure. Okay, so we are going... What the hell? This is menu. <laughs> I don't know. It's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. Okay. So we are at the basement. Looks like you're inside the compound. Security is tight. Stay sharp. Okay. So those noises I see on the radar, that's enemies walking. And I guess you can see where the noise is coming from to know where they are, right? That's cool. Very interesting, actually. And realistic, too. There's no camouflage here. Mm -mm. Uh, you can tell how... Four is a mix between three and five, and then this one is like a even a, f a step farther into. A love box. What are you gonna use that for? What is that? <laughs> I wanna see. Is he gonna see me? This is so funny. Huh. What the? We're under attack! You can't shoot while in the box? What the fuck? That's OP, bro. But the box is so little, like, um. The box is so little, uh, camouflage, I guess you can say. That is, it may be less worth it than just standing up, you know? It calls more the attention. <laughs> Look at this. So funny. You kind of move while doing this. I think, yeah. Same as you kind of move when you are. Hey! You're looking for a two story building to the east. I know I saw something. Are you not seeing your friend, like... Sleeping there, bro? Oh my god. Oh. My suppressor ran off. How do I... Put another suppressor? Oh, you can drop ammo. Why would you want to do that? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe to give it to your friend, right? So I don't have uh, more suppressor. For the MK. It wears off so fast. That it says I have five, doesn't it? Anesthetic five. Your objective is the building to the east. How do you put another suppressor? Maybe I don't have any more. Can enemies drop? Can you not do the freeze? Freeze. Oh, there you go. Give me something, bro. It's only giving me ammo. But not the uh, suppressors. Okay. Huh. Alright, so I guess I have to go this way. No alarm so far. They saw me, but didn't trigger the alarm. The only problem is I cannot shoot anymore. So in this in this game instead of cinematics we're gonna have a comic cinematics. Spears are loaded. The barge is clear point bravo. Acknowledge Al. Ha! 
R1. Oh, I have to interact. I have to play during this. The cargo. Where is ship. it headed? What is it? Air suit. In the mountains. What's up there? I don't really fully buy all the all the motives that inspire uh, or that move Snake into joining this mission. To be honest, and not really aboard, but whatever. We'll just roll with it. What was that? Was there like a robot? Could they have done the boss AI voice or something? Technology or something? Hmm. Well, you can zoom into the cinematics too. This is Snake. Kaz, can you hear me? Loud and clear. You found a radio. It's got a circuit that reverses the audio phase. Let's switch frequencies from time to time, just to make sure we're not detected. I found a map of their bases. The cargo's heading from the marshes west towards Irasu. Nice going, boss. Kaz, this place is full of film badges. Dozens of them. Film badges? Like the ones used to measure radiation exposure? Yeah, the radio man was wearing one. And whoever he was talking to called the cargo Spears. Wait, that would mean... Nukes. Oh, shit. They're bringing nukes into Costa Rica. Oh! Holy mother of God. Okay. Oh. Oh, so that was the epilogue, I guess. We got the rank A. Nice. Uh, the following words can now be infused with the heroic spirit. Here! Yeah, whatever. I don't care. I don't care. Okay. How's that map, Snake? Think you can use it? Uh, it tells me where their bases are, but it's just a bunch of points. No routes. I need better intel on the lay of the land. Snake. The professor said he's got the Sandinistas on his side. Said you should get in touch with the FSLN Commandante. Hmm. Do they know they're backed by the KGB? Nah. As far as they know, they're really. Why don't they show the snakes on Miller the face? I usually call that conversation. I'm not sure the Sandinistas are aware of what's really going on. Still can't believe anybody would bring nukes here. Yeah, that's a shocker. Costa Rica's party to the Tlatel Local Treaty, which declares Latin America a nuke free zone. Based on Japan's three non-nuclear principles, it bans the testing, use, import, or deployment of nuclear weapons. If word of this gets out, Opano will be forced to act. It'll cause an international uproar. The treaty was signed to prevent another Cuban Missile Crisis. If the U.S. itself is gonna scrap it... Latin America is too close to spawning another Cuba or two already. The entire continent would become one big powder keg. Well, if they did bring nukes, we can't let them get away with it. Are they planning a test? Showing off? Or is it all to keep the anti-American movement in check? Good question. Why bring them here? I can't figure it out. Whatever the CIA's up to in Costa Rica, the professor wants it stopped. We need to find out what that something is. We need to get ready first, Kaz. Repairs. Working as fast as we can, boss. This place is pretty beat. Looks like hell. But as long as you're with us, we'll make it happen. No one can bother us here. <laughs> no state telling us what to do. This is the MSF's haven, our mother base. Hey. With this foothold, we'll back you up even better than before. We're gonna turn this pile of junk into something big. Let's go. Uh, I'm still, I'm starting to buy the motives now <laughs> for this mission. Mission selector. So this game has a lot of extra missions, which I'm not gonna do. And then it has main ops, main operations. There you go. Uh, which is the main story of the game. So I'm only gonna do main ops. 
The thing is, how oh here. So main ops. Open and investigate the supply facility and then um uh, contact the sad uh, sandinista commandante. Let's go. Delve into the swampy jungles of eastern Limon and make your way to Stalinesta Hideout, where you will make contact with the Commandante. Yeah. So I'm guessing this is the second mission, right? Yeah. Snake, I rigged that radio so you can contact our young lady friend, Paz. Is she okay? No need to worry. She's tougher than you think. Still just a kid. Which is exactly why she could be an effective source of information. Besides, that little Angel de la Paz is the one who gave us this mission, right? Uh, I guess. I'll put her on. Snake! Paz, where are you? Ciudad Colon. A school. The teacher told me to stay here until things quiet down. Teacher? Oh, him. He's... Yeah, that's probably good advice. See, he has a radio See. in his room, so we can talk anytime. Huh. Okay. Pretty fancy for a teacher. Promise me, Snake. I'm not sure how you use the collar, though. Bring back peace and... I know. I'll contact you if I find your friend. Thank you. Snake, if you need to know about Costa Rica, the geography, the climate, the wildlife, anything, just ask me. Okay. I know about its history and laws, too. We learned it all in school. Got it. I have a question. I'll ask. I, uh... What? In school. I also learned that peace is an unnatural state for human society. That's propaganda. Don't believe it. a constant threat to our relationships with others. That's right. <laughs> so, to achieve peace, we have to create it ourselves. Crying about it won't bring it about or make it last. Each right, one true. of us must go and seek it out. You won't find it without making sacrifices. No offense, but I don't know what peace is. Never felt what it's like. Huh. Never even been interested in it. Snake? Oh, sorry. Listen, Paz, I think your ideas are admirable. And I hope they turn out to be right. Yeah, me too. Peace is in your name. Who better to help bring it back? Thanks, Snake. I will be here whenever you need me. See you later. Okay. Snake, use your radio to call people, but stay alert. You're in the middle of a mission and can't afford to let your guard down. Got it. Need but it doesn't pause the game when you're calling a call in this one. Pause can help you out. Good to know. We'll follow their transport route. This should take us straight to their main base. From what I've seen, it looks like nukes. Agreed. The key thing now is to confirm whether those spears really are what we think they are, and if so, why they're here. Follow the transport. And before they use normal the spears, new. like a That's stick. That's what I'm thinking. First, we should make contact with the Sandinista Commandante. They can tell us more about what's up ahead. But it looks like their hideouts already come under attack. Hmm. We better hope they're still alive. Snake, infiltrate that cabin and secure the Sandinistas' Commandante. Neutralize any guards by knocking them out, putting them to sleep, or even using the Fulton recovery system. You choose how to handle it, boss. So I have to strike them. Briefing files to review the radio mission briefing. Choose mission prep to select weapons, items, uniform, and other options for use during this mission. That's very cool, you can prepare before the mission. Once you got your gear together, uh, select Star Mission. This is literally a Phantom Bay. So briefing files is what we, what they told us basically. And then let's see, we're gonna have. Uh, we can change uniform. We can go naked. <laughs> Black khaki, navy blue, white, red, tree bark. What is the tiger stripe? Comrade. Bro. No, no tiger, really? DPM is cool, right? The thing is, I don't know. DPM has a very good rank on everything. BA tells you how good you will blend. What about this one? Yeah, this one has a lot of worse. 
Only A on jungle. Okay, let's go. Uh, we're gonna bring rations. Binoculars, on radar, fluton, love box, yes. And for weapons, we don't need this. Can I remove it? There you go. Grenades. Hey, where are the grenades? <laughs> oh, these are uh, secondary weapons. Oh, so you can bring two weapons and then items. Got it, got it, got it. What is this? Throwing weapons. Oh, magazine. What is my my stun? Stun knife thingy. Maybe you have that by default. Alright, this looks fine. I don't need anything else. Let's go. Let's go. You can see here the, the experience, the gameplay, the pacing is not like chapter one. A country without an army. It's not like a continuous experience, like a Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, or 3, right? This one is more like go to the mother base, prepare, develop, blah, blah, assemble, and then do every, every mission on its own thing. It's northwest of there. I'm glad I have a suppressor back. So each chapter we're gonna have a limited amount of shots. You can Makes use sense. the radio you just picked up by pressing the start button to open the menu window. You know you can assign the radio to the select button by choosing options from the menu window. Wait, what? I didn't hear what he said to be honest. Where is it? Where did the other guy go? It's a shame you got all the, yeah, the love box. <laughs> but the enemies see that they see the love box very easily. Let's wait. Let's see the map. So we are here. We have to go to the left. The the, the levels are very simple though. Well, it's going farther now. I don't want to waste ammo. Too high for later, right? If I don't have to. So here I have 81% ammo flash. It's nice. Right, let's go. El Senegal. Since we are in Costa Rica, Latin America, this game has go is gonna have a lot of uh, uh, Spanish uh, words, I'm guessing. And so here. We have to go that way, but we can also go up here. I guess it's optional, look. It has different paths to reach the location. But I don't know what the, the exclamation marks mean. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna investigate. What is this? That area is not part of the mission. Oh, okay. <laughs> Illusion of freedom, huh? Not enough room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base. Got it, bro. Where's Y to use? How many rations do I have? Four. I cannot use it because I'm full health. Have you seen the love box? Uh, polygon. <laughs> what was the point of this? There was not a single enemy there. I like the locations and the sounds. This one seems a bit more open. Got two guards there. Feels like very, very solitary, right? In the jungle? I'm not sure if later on the locations will change, though. 
And these are... This camel that we took is very good. Is this guy gonna see me if I walk in front of him? Probably, right? It's a shame you cannot, uh... Prawn and... And walk prawn. Let's see if this works. Will this guy see us at 28? <laughs> he doesn't. Back to... We're back to Metal Gear Solid 1 enemies, guys. Where enemies have the vision of a... Uh... Wait! <gasps> Somebody there? Oh, shit. Never mind. Speak too soon. What's going on? Hey, is he gonna see this guy? Don't see him. I don't want to waste another bullet. Nice. Okay, let's go. Rio del Jade. We are approaching the target. The boathouse should be close by. Neutralize the security detail and make contact with the Comandante. This is cool. It's like something between five and... and three. A lot of guards here. We have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Six. If I get seen here, they're all gonna. It's gonna be a chain reaction of uh, detection. If I get seen, the alarm will 100% trigger for sure. Neutralize that security detail, all of them. Hey, whoop. Neutralize us. What? Is this guy in this house? I'm gonna climb. This is a test, guys. This is a test, okay? Huh. Please don't see me. I'm gonna try to seek you see him. No, I'm gonna. Oh, you can seek you see him from be from below. Start talking. Huh? You're pretty good. What? Start talking. Huh. Neutralize the soldiers. You might even tranquilize or knock them out. You won't have to worry about that one anymore. So long as none of his buddies show up anyway. Go ahead and use Fulton Recovery to bring the target in. How do I do that? Don't they have to be on the open to do that? So you can capture these soldiers and bring them to your mother base and convert them to your own military. <laughs> okay. Let's see how this works. Collect it. So, uh, Bolton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. What the hell? Footsteps. They heard you. They're gonna come take a look. I'm a box. I'm a box. I'm the love box. 
Too lovely to be detected. <laughs> so funny. You really had to do this this slow walk in this one, huh? Can I drag this guy and move him as I grab him? I don't think I can do that, right? So I fucked up then doing this, basically. I should have started taking down from the outside to the inside. Instead of uh, the other way around. What was that noise? They know someone's there. They'll be coming to check it out. Mm -hmm, I know. That's why I made the noise, bro. <laughs> They're gonna see this guy. So before they do that, I guess I do this. Can they not see this Luton thingy? I'm not sure, man, how it works. Can I unequip? Helicopter is complete. Can I unequip the suppressor? Hehehe. <laughs> Oh, they don't have voices. Start talking. Huh? I see. Okay. So if you let it press, it will go unconscious. Got it. Huh. Is the guy I'm looking for up here? I guess not. So how long do they stay unconscious? I guess you cannot enter buildings, okay. What was that? Oh shit. Bro, where do I go? Do I have to inter interrogate them? Because I cannot go this way. I'm seeing things. Stay focused on the mission, Snake. What is the mission? Second floor. Goal. The goal is here. Top option was the sign select button. Oh. Select button. Oh. There you go. <laughs> so where the hell is this guy? Snake! Help us reclaim peace. Okay. Um Where you will make contact with their commandante. Where? Where? Where is the commandante? Am I may not right here? I am right here. But I don't know where the commandante. Maybe I had to take them all down? What was that? Do I have to take all the enemies down, maybe? I don't know. I'll try that. I'll try that then. What was that? Nothing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking enemies are blind in this game. Bolton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Motherfucker woke him up. He should fall asleep, right? Yeah. So now we have to get him before he sees his friend. So this gives you points. Oh, what? They spotted you. Get out of there. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got it. So we had to neutralize all the soldiers. Okay.
So he was up there. <laughs> okay. So if you left Golf Agar, you cannot immediately do a CQC. Okay. And then they trigger the alarm. Stay away! Go, 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 go. Get away! Huh? Guinness! The chair! No way! What do we do? Chair. What the fuck? Sandinista's right. I'm looking for someone. Mi viejo! Shh! He's dead. They killed Nuestro Viejo. You're his daughter. Then that makes you his delegado, right? Relax, I'm not your enemy. Cuban. Mm -hmm. A cigar? I'll take whatever you've got. Okay. I what do you guys know. think about this art style of a storytelling? Cigarettes, you know. Amanda Valenciano oh, Libre. You like El Che, no? You Cubano? Mm, Colombiano. A photographer. I came to Costa Rica to take pictures of birds. Birds? Yeah, uh, Quetzals. You've got no telephoto lens. How do you get your shots? Telephotos for amateurs. It's only the timing. Oh. Let me smoke okay. too. We can talk until I finish this. Chico! <sighs> Tell me what's going on here. This place is crawling with soldiers. They don't look like private security. More like hired guns. They're loaded with the latest gear from all over the world. I heard they're a security force hired by Codessa. <laughs> yeah, and I'm Papa Noel. Those guys are UCLA's. UCLA's? La Cia. I saw them, setting up shop in town. They're planning to do here what they did in Chile. If that's the case, what are they after? Whatever it is. Very Max Spain? Yeah. You don't think they're here to push you back into Nicaragua? Impossible. Too much hardware. Too many bases. Didn't you see? They've got helicopters, tanks. It's like we're in Da Nang. There must be something else. They have a base near here. There's a factory to the north, across a suspension bridge. Factory to the north, across a bridge. Have you seen the big transport boat, mercenary crew on the Rio del Jade? You mean the barge? It's upstream from here. Up toward Yasu. Hmm. Any idea what's on it? I could introduce you to some of our compas up there. But I don't recommend going to the mountains. We've lost a lot of people there. They take us captive, torture us for information about our compas, and then they kill us like pigs. Got it. All right. This was our last hideout. The final refuge for El Frente. After being pushed out of Nicaragua and into this peaceful paradise of Costa Rica, then El Monstruo attacked. El Monstruo. <laughs> a monster. This game has a lot of uh, Spanish English, like Spanish and English terms, right? I hope you guys are following because, yeah. Mi viejo, papá. Mi viejo is like my old, my, my father, basically. Now that papá's gone, my sister's like commandante de la revolución. Do not listen to him. Papa was a hero who fought by Sandino's side. I am only his daughter. You need a special talent to become cacique. It takes someone great to unite all of Las Compas. Sorry to interrupt, but leaders don't choose themselves, neither do heroes. You carry on his legacy of La Esperanza, and they'll follow you, no question. You think so? My compas trust me, but not one of them calls me Comandante. Amanda! He's very interesting. See what I mean? El Colibri! <laughs> oh, is that the enemy we saw before or we heard before? Yeah. Kinda reminds me of the beast, the uh, beauty and beast, right? Oh, shit. Like a flying shooting bird. Yeah. Like a flying metal gear. Get down. Oh. Saved. Oh 
though. They have drones and shit. Bro, this is the 70s. What the hell? Technology. Oh, I had to. I had to actually play during the cinematic. Boom. Got him. Uh, those were only the little babies. Now we have to fight the mama. Boom. Oh, I missed. Are you serious? What the hell? It's an hombre nuevo, an unmanned weapon, a robot. No, he won't survive the fall. Out of my way. Better for him to die at the hand of a compa than suffer their torture. Stay here. As long as I'm still alive, I might as well retreat. Over here! Find Chico! Venceremos! Hasta la victoria! <laughs> Okay, you can see already a lot of like Latin American revolution spirit. You guys know. Simón Bolívar, Che Guevara, Fidel Castro, etc. etc. And I guess what they say about Chile is uh Snake, what was that thing? Whatever it was, it looked unmanned. Unmanned? I'd heard rumors, but an operational unit? What the hell is going on here? Not to quote Amanda, but the hardware they've got here isn't just unusual. It's overkill, which means one thing. It's nukes. So the question now becomes, why? We can't make that call yet. We need more intel. It's like Sansibar all over again. Our source is dead. But his daughter isn't. Good thinking. We can follow her. Head for the next outpost and make contact with Amanda if she's still alive. Roger. Let's go. Next mission. Not much going on on the gameplay side, but on the story side, it's cool. Hey, pursue Amanda. Try and locate Amanda, the Sadinista leader, and obtain intel on the enemy's bases and the route used to transport the nuclear material. The direction Amanda's Sandinistas were going corresponds to the location of the next outpost, a supply depot. We should be able to make contact with her there. Okay. Um, should I bring the this rocket launcher in case we have to fight the that big thing, the colibri? Fuck it, I guess we will. And I'll bring grenades too. Why not? Oh, let's go. Bro, PS Phil. They've got reinforcements coming. Oh, we're still in this location. Okay. PSP literally looks like something between PS1 and PS2. Like the polygons and everything. So, where do I have to go? Oh, I have to go that way. So, wait, do I? I can go both. I can go both. So now we have to go to this other uh, location. It's better to go where I came from. But it's also riskier, right? I think I'm gonna have to take this guy now, but maybe not. We got a light anti tank weapon, yep. Not too much. Oh, let's go back. So they're searching for me after this incident, but we out. We out. They got juked. I guess there's gonna be more uh, guards now, more patrols. 
on the look for us. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I guess I have to go back to the middle no matter what. Is there gonna be a guy around here? Wait, this, this is free. Not enough room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base. This is free, guys. Let's see the next. So now we have to go to the to the place we couldn't go before. Yeah. Very similar to Metal Gear Solid 3, right? Like areas. Amanda went across that rope bridge. Hurry. Oh, these guards here now. We need to go where that guy guard is going. I'm guessing he's gonna turn. Oh, that goes. Oh, there's a bridge there. Let's try to get this guy. Third in chronology? So this is right after Solid 3. So this is the second in chronology. Can I catch up walking like this? Freeze. Can you... So once I do this, how do I... Like, take them. Get up, bro. I guess I'll just fucking kick him. Until he falls conscious. There you go. Yeah, he will, he will wake up eventually. Oh, yeah, how the hell am I gonna get past the bridge? I, I'm, I'm taking this guy down. I don't care. What the fuck? You might be able to get past the enemy by hanging from the bridge. Oh. Press the action button near the bridge's handrail to hang. What? You can't hang down when you're crouching. Okay, okay, okay. Bro, you can hang, but you cannot prone walk. Are you serious? Whatever. Bye, there. El Senegal Swamp. Get in there. We get in there. Also, in this game, Solid Snake and Liquid Snake have already been born, and they are two years old. So Eva is taking care of them, huh? Spoilers of the future. This is guy not turning. Well, this game is free, right? I guess if you make noise, if you just sprint, it will turn. So you have to like go slow like this. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. 70%. It did work. Let's go before he, before he comes back. This game is so simplistic, like... Is this, is like, if I made a video game, it would be like this, right? Put an enemy there, another enemy there, two, three covers. It's like, the level design is so... One, two, three, right? The other guy's probably coming now, so I need to... Go... Now. Bananal fruta de oro, sorting shit. So that's like a banana planting golden place, basically. Translated. Okay. We're almost Careful there. Now. Not quite. They might be holding FSLN soldiers prisoner. So we need to rescue the prisoners. Is that like an optional objective? It's gonna be hard, right? Okay, I want to use the stun rod. I want to use the stun rod. Yo, this place looks big, actually. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. So we can just go for the mission, or we can uh, divert a little bit and try to... Ha <laughs> ha!
Just test the new things. Bro, what? How? How did they get alerted? Hello? Don't even know where I am. Oh, so you have to collect more of these items. I was I'll, I'll collect this guy, right? Also, why are there reinforcements not coming from behind me? That would be cool, right? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Molten recovery helicopter is complete. Okay, let me test the 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 Did I not equip the analyzer thingy? I guess not. Also the the game doesn't pause when you are, are doing that, like in the other games. Guess not. Freeze. <gasps> Who's you like a balloon? Come in, HQ. This is HQ. This is patrol. Contact lost. Going to alert status. Understood. Okay, recruiting the, the recruiting that guy. I'm just testing how the alert works, guys. Recovery subject confirmed on board I did it on purpose, okay? Honestly, the stun rod, I thought it was gonna... I thought it was gonna, like, uh, put him to unconscious immediately, but I guess not. So, is there any way you can... Instantly put someone... ...into sleep without shooting them? Bro, totally not suspicious. Totally normal box here, by the way. Bro, can you not get a normal box? Brown? There is also red barrels. I'm guessing if you shoot those, they explode. So, what if I... Let me try this. Boom. So in this game, they don't have to be on the open to use this. They can go anywhere, right? Okay, in Metal Gear Solid 5, they had to be with access to light, so the balloon can fly to the air, basically. Helicopter is and this one, they didn't do it. Press the action button in front of a prisoner to take them to Mother Base using the Fulton Recovery System. Okay. <laughs> We're rescuing prisoners. Yeah, let's try to do that. I'm not sure... Does the game tell you anywhere... How many prisoners are on the area? I'm not sure. Also, Metal Gear Solid 5. If you do it too close, they will see the balloon floating. And then they will try to shoot it down, I think. But like, like in every Metal Gear game, basically they are improving already pre-existing pre mechanics, right? Let's see if this works. <laughs> CQC and stun. Okay, that works. I only have four left. So I need to be careful. Is there any more guards? One there. One here. Okay. Any more... People to rescue. This guy, what can I rescue? Does this does this consume one balloon? I have four. I have three now, so they do. Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. I have two loft box. They're the same. The thing is, if you collect an item on a mission, you don't have to use the development tool. <clears throat> That's very good. What if they see the the soldier is not there anymore? Is this guy gonna see me? There's nothing over here, right? Oh, let's go. We can go around here. I'm 
Okay. Um, can I, for example, this empty mag? It makes noise when when you throw him. Okay. So, if I want this guard to like go away, well, there's probably another hostage there. Oh, no. We got Tiger Stripe. Let's go. The one I wanted. <laughs> Thank you, game. Oh, we did it. We did it. We are where Pass is. No, where Amanda. Uh, Libre. Is. So, are they keeping the nukes here? Bro, big box looks so weird. Oh, shit. They have a tank. I'm glad I bring an anti tank. Weapon? Huh? These guys are heavy arm, heavy armor. This is Drebin. Looks like there's no way around him. You up for this, Snake? Armor assault, okay. So basically the game is telling you fight or fight, right? To be continued in the next mission. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. We're gonna be? I guess the time is very important. The time is important, right? How fast you do it. Oh, naked only. What? I want the tiger stripe, not naked. Yeah, Listen, cliffhanger. Boss, we both know you're the reason MSF's grown so much, but it's time we started putting more thought into provisions. Good point. A place this big needs a good stockpile on hand. The Japanese say you can't fight on an empty stomach. Something we learned in World War II. Obviously. Maintaining a steady supply of provisions is one of the basic principles of logistics. <laughs> so I went ahead and set up a mess hall team. The team members' numbers and abilities will affect the amount I of I trust you, Killer. Miller. Without enough food, morale will drop. I trust you, Cass. Get hungry enough, and we could you manage that shit, bro. Anyway, I need you to assign guys to the mess hall team. Copy that. You got that shit, bro. Next mission. Uh, armor vehicle battle. So in case you didn't bring the the rocket launcher before, basically they are telling you bring it now. And you can play with four people this mission. Wow, that's crazy. And then it says with the skull symbol, it says it tells you how dangerous the mission is, right? Okay, interesting. Neutralized. Like this game is so like how to put it, like casual, so arcade, right? It feels so arcade. Not like all the other Metal Gears, where they're like more free. Uh, neutralize the tagging enemy armor vehicle and make contact with the mana. All right, so that's an armored vehicle unit, Snake. Either destroy the vehicle or neutralize the soldiers. Take it out. So I can neutralize the soldiers too. Let's see. Do I have the tiger stripe normal, not naked? Joe, what the hell is this? Jeez, Snake. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Now it's all okay. Survival. So, you have big cargo pants. Right, snake. Okay. So my question is, can you do this mission non-lethal? Let's let's try. He said I can neutralize the soldiers too, but what about the ones inside the tank? Or the armor vehicle?
in the next episode. <laughs> okay, there is no alarm yet. No need to take out the armored vehicle just yet. Neutralize the troops first. Not enough. The accompanying soldiers are armed to the teeth. Watch yourself. I wonder. I'm kind of big in this game. Go investigate. Interesting. Oh, what is it? Enemy sighted. Engage now. Move in. And you, they take a while. You cannot like insta headshot them, put them into sleep immediately. But you can. I think I shoot both. Okay, so now we just wait. Now we just wait. Oh, he's throwing a grenade. That guy fell asleep. That guy fell asleep. Bad. Bad toss, bro. Did I did not hit this guy. I, I hit it now for sure. I guess I hit the other one twice. So if he falls asleep, what's gonna happen? We still have to take the tank down. Bro, why is this guy not falling asleep? Oh, he fell asleep now. So I guess now I have to take it down. There is a top bar and a bottom bar. I guess I can neutralize it. What about if I shoot the wheels? Maybe it's just the same bar. I'm gonna keep shooting on the top, maybe. Yo, he kill he kill us all there. You're running him over. Shit, I have no more ammo. So do I, how do I take off the remaining health? Grenade? Is that gonna work? I guess. Like they both kind of ready to fight. No one died on the making of this mission, guys. Except that guy that got run over by his own tank. That was not my fault, though. <laughs> More drones. Armor and weaponized drones. Okay.
Yo, what is that? A rail gun? Hello? Can I launch a nuke? Is it like a fly metal gear? Holy shit. Detected. I'm gonna keep my hands in the controller. Because sometimes you have to press buttons. Oh no, they got Amanda! Now what? Rip ankle. Shit. Amanda! Shoot it! Don't fall! Shoot it, Chico Libri! <laughs> Sorry, I don't have more ammo. She's gonna die from the fall, man. He has some kind of a... Uh... I will take my own life before I sell out my copas under torture. Dodging uh, bullets technology, right? Now what? Maybe she falls on the ring. Right? Oh. Ouch. Amanda. She's still alive. It's fine. Chico. What? What is it? The took his friend, bro. Hmm? Tobacco. Oh, yeah. Chico. Ah. Hold still. I treated him like a kid again. We fought. I didn't want Chico to know. Kept it a secret. Somosa's Guardia chased us out of Nicaragua. Across the Rio San Juan. And we ended up here. The only reason we've been able to keep on fighting. Uh, Amanda. The factory. You saw it? The banana factory. A front. It's a drug refining plant. The KGB mm. set it up for us to run. We use the income to buy food and weapons. With track money? Mi viejo never said a word. Wow. But we all knew. Uh, oh, everyone except Chico. Everything we have. Our weapons. Our compass. Uh, he brought it all together. There's something on the leg or something? Oh, we shit. We're going to rebuild our country. Rebuild Nika with our own hands. Even if we had to dirty our hands to do it. But it's all over. We lost our cacique. Papa! Mi viejo! I could never replace him. Now they've taken the plant from us too. There's no place left to regroup. No way to fight la revolucion. <laughs> Here, I rolled you one. What about you? You're going after that cargo? Yeah. Must be important, hmm? Hmm. Looks that way. It looks like it could be nukes. What? Nukes? Madre de Dios. No time to waste. We must get to Irasu. The transport route leads there. It must be where they're holding Chico and my compass, too. Whenever Chico and I argue, he goes off to be by himself. That's why he knows more than anybody about their bases. He... 
We're gonna raise the Chico to and then after the nukes. There's a prison up in the mountains. That's probably where he is. A prison in the mountains. You must do something for me. If you can't save Chico, I want you to ease his pain, end his humiliation. Mm. If he gives in. If he's about to sell out his compass, please, at least let him keep his honor. The art style is That's good. That's a promise huh? I can't make. Why? Amanda, we gave up our homes, but we're still alive. We're still fighting. There's always another reason to keep on living. Uh, I feel alive again. Amanda, join my unit until you've healed up. Your unit? Yeah. Who are you? Why are you here? I'm Snake. Serviente. <laughs> Snake. <laughs> Thought you were a photographer. <laughs> Could it be the great cacique has come to be us? Okay. This is Kojima write a lot about uh, Latin American revolutions to make this game all the shit. Kaz, can you hear me? MSF here. One for recovery. She's wounded. Acknowledged. Kaz, the cargo on the barge. I was right. It's headed for the mountains. You think that's where they're taking the nukes? I'm sure of it. Let's move. So I will them for the prison for Chico. And then we're going to the mountains for uh, the nukes. Okay. I'm just gonna go for Snake. the missions to be honest. Amanda's reached the planet. Snake. Amanda. There's a man with that. She doesn't look like. Some first helicopter ride. I'll be perfectly happy if it's my last. As you can see, she's doing fine. I set Amanda the up comic with her own frequency, so call her anytime you need to. If you have any questions about American bases or mercenary units, or about Effendi, just ask. And yeah. please, do not forget my compass and Chico. Don't worry. It's good to be working with you, boss. Stay. We can monitor her condition in sickbay. Remember to assign roles to any POWs you bring back to Mother Base. How this outfit gets built depends on who we assign to what jobs. That'll determine how Mother Base grows. It's one of your most important roles, boss. Yeah. Right, I yeah. thought that was your job, you know? I'm here doing the mission, man. <laughs> boss, one more thing. Now what? It's about sick bay. Naturally, we can use it for the sick or injured like we did with Amanda. But we can't expect people to get better without the proper treatment. Uh -huh. Hi, so I adult figure tour. we'll need a medical yes, team yes. for that. Good, good. The number of team members and their abilities will determine how quickly the sick and injured heal. They can also monitor everybody's health. Right. Prevention is the best medicine. You got it. Remember to wash your hands often and gargle twice a day, boss. If only I had the time. <laughs> okay. We're getting some uh, health recommendations. Let's go. Next mission. Rescue Chico. Rescue Chico from the Aldea Los Despiertos prison facility and locate the route used by U.S. mercenaries to transport the nuclear material. So we're gonna have to find both at once, okay? 
Let's go. Snake, the nukes appear to have left the coastal marshes and reached the mountains around Irazu. But without a guide, it's going to be tough tracking those things in the mountains. So we need you to infiltrate one of their bases, a prison facility. I hope nothing's happened to Amanda's brother. I hear you. There may be other Sandinistas held there too. To bring them back safely to MSF, use the Fulton recovery system. As I'm sure you know from experience, Fulton. it's completely I said Fulton. harmless. After all, you won't have time to sit there and convince every single one of them to join. One other thing, Snake. Amanda. Those Forrester Cruiser. Those confiscated some of the houses in the village. Chico's got to be inside one of them. Oof. Houses, huh? How do I tell which ones? When they took over the houses, they installed new front doors for security purposes. The new doors are blue, with peepholes, so you can see what's inside. Oh. Blue doors. Got it. I'm getting close to the end of the transport route. Good luck, Snake. I got this. Let's go. Uh, I don't think I need this anymore, right? Wow. Ah, it's, I think it's fine. Let's go. I'm not sure how many missions are gonna do, but like in the game so far, kind of. The game plays a bit as simplified, but the story is very important, especially we're basically following Big Boss' life, knowing what happened room, huh? we'll keep it here after Solid base. 3, right? We didn't get enough of him. Let's see. Let me see the map. Which way is this guy gonna go? I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna roll. But if you roll, they don't fall. They just get knocked. So. The enemy's here. Yeah. I'm not sure that's completely fine. good. Is there anyone else here to call reinforcements? Yeah. Understood. Dispatching oh, reinforcements now. Let's see how many reinforcements they come. One, two. Okay. A snake, bro. Let's sleep. Why did it take so long? <laughs> okay, let's recruit this guy. I have nine flutons. We're gonna save three or four every mission to see if we need to rescue us. Can I take these mushrooms? To eat? No. <laughs> Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Yeah, let's go. Ahead leaves you completely exposed to sniper fire. Sniper? Camino de Lava. It's like a... Lava's path. Is there a sniper or something? Watching me? Hmm. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Sniper. Yep. Better be careful if you don't want your head blown off. I see. I see. I see. You should be. You what? won't get up there alone. With some help, maybe. I guess it's practicing. Can I headshot them? It's not gonna be an easy shot, but we're gonna try.
Nice. The precision there. That's insane. Okay, how do I rescue this guy? On the other side, okay. There's one guy around here, though. Mm, the other one is gonna come. Come back. Unless... I do that. Okay. Man, the fact that the game doesn't pause when you are switching items... It really fucks your brain. Compared to all the Metal Gear games I played before. And also, so let me let me try something. Fulton recovery helicopter Boom. is complete. Boom. Ooh, it, wherever your camera is, it'll turn the aim there. Wow. Okay. So it's better to do this. To do 180 fast. Yeah. Holy, that's new new. That's next level mechanics right there. Oh, let's go. Because you can 180, push the button so the camera looks wherever your character is looking. And then aim. Aldea los despiertos. Chico's in one of these houses. You've got to find him, Snake. It's like town the awaken, basically. Translate that. Let's see. So can I check through the check inside a house by yeah. pressing the action button in front of the door? Mama. That doesn't look like Chico. That doesn't sound like it at least. It's very cool, huh? Like in a town in like a village. Small village trying to rescue. It's probably gonna be at the end of the town. Like, like, I got some <laughs> math with uh Oh and the map tells you which doors okay Supposedly the houses being used to hold prisoners have been fitted with blue doors Probably that one, right? Yeah, that's right. Or it could be there to the right. We'll see. Chico? Chico, is that you? Oh, we found them. Huh. Who's there? Chico, it's me. Joy. Joy, that photographer. And Pony del Rio. Right. A war photographer. Huh? I thought you were here for the birds. Amanda yeah. sent me. The birds of the battle. Whoa. Is that just... Can I see it? Wow, the same kind of chair used. You can't keep it, kid. Here, have these instead. El Che Guevara. Camera. Huh. Oh no, Amanda. She's safe. Don't worry. Are you sure? We're patching her up back in my place. She's hurt? I said, don't worry. It's just a broken leg. Huh. You got any cigarettes? Bro, you're the kid. Any cigar, huh? Hey! Don't let the kid smoke. The kids. Yeah. Chico, do you know where they took the cargo? Cargo? What cargo? Let me rephrase that. 
How do they get stuff from the coast up here? Oh, that I can tell you. Okay. When the cargo gets to the harbor, they first send it up the marshes on a barge. Then, they load it onto a jungle train past the banana plantation and transport it by rail. The train stops here. When it gets to the train terminal past the coffee plantation, they reload it again. This time onto a truck, which disappears into a tunnel heading toward the mountains. Oh. Disappears? Chico, what's on the other side of that tunnel? Nobody knows. None of our compas ever got close enough. He's protected Ooh. by his spirit. It's gonna be uh, a harsh sneaky yeah, mission. A giant monster. Oh shit. El Basilisco. The Basilisk. The king of snakes. No, 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 really, I saw it. I was camping up there one day, and just as I was waking up around dawn, I heard this loud noise. I opened my eyes and saw an enormous shadow. Must have been 30 bara at least. He was walking on legs as big as trees. Where did you see it? At the terminal near the tunnel, but I only saw it that one time. What exactly were you doing there? I, uh, well, me and my sister got into a fight. And you just happened to go camping. You know, their train should be arriving at the place I saw El Basilisco right about now. Is it far? No, really. Go past the coffee plantation, and it'll be to the north. What are you chasing? Mm. Something that could keep the world in balance. Or destroy it. Huh? I heard that place was a narcotics plant before those guys took it over. But you already knew that, didn't you? Huh. Look, I get it. Even revolutionaries need to pay the bills. Still, must be tough for a kid like you to swallow. You're damn right it is. The route they use to transport stuff is the same one me viejo used to smuggle drugs. He sold the drugs to the Norte Americanos and used the profits to fund the army. They tried to keep it hidden from me. Is that why you went camping? Yes. I managed to sneak into the plant a few times and I tried to set it on oh. fire. Okay. Everyone treats me like a child. I, I I couldn't stand it anymore. I'm not a kid. I'm twelve. <laughs> couldn't do it though, could you? <laughs> okay. Chico, pretty tough. For growing up years means old. choosing how you're gonna live your life. To do the right thing, you sometimes have to leave <laughs> the things you care about behind. Parents, family, your homeland. But mi viejo. Papa. Chico, look at the photos. Mi viejo. He's gone. But there's one thing you don't ever leave behind. Your memories. <laughs> Keep them safe. <laughs> you want to get out of here, Chico? I do, but... Come back with me. Your sister's waiting for you. <sighs> I can't go back. I can't face everybody. <laughs> you told them where your compas are. These niche. Uh -oh. Come on, I will kill him. <laughs> There's nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah. Pain gets the better of us all. Bro, exactly. <laughs> I'm really liking how they are giving a lot of background stories for the every character's appearance so far. Okay, then. I'll put you out of your misery. What? Any last words? Shoot. You are only going to kill a man. Is that a, a, a Che Guevara quote or something? I just wasted a bullet. Don't waste your life. Listen to me, Chico. You died here today. You understand? You're hombre nuevo. A new <laughs> man. Now, give that. It's very life sexy to, me. to hear Big Boss speak Spanish, huh? Huh? Oh, yes. Fight with me, Fight little, with soldier. Me, little soldier. Show me how strong you really are. Yes. 
Man the fuck up, bro. Then promise me one thing. No smoking until you get older. Remember, Daddy, it's Nate. heroes are never as polished as the legends that surround them. You got it, boss. Yeah, boss is, uh... Snake is fine. What's that? Ah! <laughs> Welcome to Bar Base. <laughs> nice, that was cool. Bro, uh... If in Metal Gear Solid 3, Naked Snake went from... Not knowing what to fight for. In here, he's already he's he's the big boss. Everyone respects him. He knows what to say. He leads. He inspires. Everyone follow him. This is so cool. Snake, Chico made it over. Snake, Chico, you made it. Made it. Don't give me that. You say you're gonna give me a new life, and then you nearly kill me. <laughs> I take it you didn't enjoy the trip. What's the big idea? Dragging me off in a balloon. I might as well have taken a Calibri. At least you got a nice view. Or are you afraid of heights? Whatever. I just wish you would explain it to me first. <laughs> would you have agreed to go if I did? <sighs> Thank you for saving us, Snake. Amanda, a word of advice. What? Stop treating him like a child. Yes. Yes, I know. You're right. I shouldn't. Amanda, you're coming back after your leg heals, right? Of course. We still have work to do. We, huh? Are you sure you've got Chico's future in mind when you say that? What do you mean? We're sworn to our father's cause, to helping the revolution succeed. Revolution or no revolution, you pick up a gun and sooner or later you're going to hell. Are you prepared for that? I am. If the alternative is giving up the country I love, I'll take hell. Really? Well then, you're gonna have to stop treating Chico like a brother and start treating him like a soldier. I... You're right. Welcome to hell. Hmm. Snake, can I ask you a favor? Shoot. You find any prisoners from El Frente, you bring him back alive. Because... Hmm. You're trying to make amends for talking. <laughs> Not just that. Because they're compas. All right. But first, I've got to catch up to that cargo. I'll do whatever I can to help. Call me if there's anything you need to know about the area. And... And what? Let me know if you encounter any wildlife you've never seen before. Never seen before? What, like that Basilisco you were talking about? I'm talking about UMAs. UMAs? You know, like ancient dinosaurs or, or legendary monsters. Oh. One day, I'm going to be a hunter. Okay. Is that right? Okay. Sure. Sorry, if I will... you want to know more, I'm happy to tell you. Right. I'll be in touch, Chico. Man, I go back to treating me like a kid. Okay, Snake. <laughs> the enemy's cargo is headed for the next outpost, a rail terminal. Chico says no one's ever set foot past there. Their main base is probably on the other side of that tunnel. Unless we catch those spears before reaching it, they'll be in enemy hands. You've got to stop them. Hurry, Snake. So in this game, the mini bosses like the Fox Sound Unit or the Cobra. Snake, weapons and items development is going nowhere fast. Send us some more soldiers with the Fulton. Boss, I had an idea. Listen to this. Let me guess. You want to start running ads in the local gossip rags. Please, what do you take me for? <laughs> I thought that with all the new guys we've got, we should get an intel team going. We'd send agents around the country to scout out different locations. That way we're better prepared, no matter where we end up. Hmm, that's actually not a bad idea. An they could team. probably develop recon equipment for us too. We could also have them transport goods and direct the mother base support strikes. You can send an item to a co-op teammate from the delivery menu. Okay. Pursue the jungle train. Proceed immediately to the jungle train at the terminal located at El Cadalso and stop the nuclear shipment before it reaches the enemy's main base in Volcan Irasu. Oh. According to Chico, the nuclear materials will be loaded from a train and onto a truck at a rail terminal near the eastern foot of Irazu. If we can't cut him off at that terminal, we'll be in a world of hurt. Hurry, Snake. I got this, bro. I will, um... I'll infiltrate the truck with my box and...
yeah destroy everything the train terminal is on the other side of the coffee factory head for the factory first it'd be cool also to get to the coffee factory you'll first need to backtrack to the fork in the road so i have to go back oh i have to go that way okay, okay, okay. the other way now start by making your way to the coffee factory remember that base how can i call locomotive? someone else on the college through there then head toward the coffee use colic yes but what frequency that car goes bound for the rail terminal in el caldalso it has to be el caldalso okay so we have to go this way not enough room huh we'll keep it here at the base. Right, make it before the guy yep so How do I make it over there? Uh, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Do I have to use a grenade? How do I open this path? Let me save the game. Can I save here? I don't know. That's gonna trigger the alarm, though. You hear that, bang? I didn't hear anything, bro. We're under attack. For fuck's sake. Going to alert staff. Understood. Dispatching reinforcements. Proceed with extra caution. How do you break Understood. this wall? Eliminate all hostiles. That sucks. Is everyone down? Yep. Okay. Right. How the hell was it supposed to go over there? Maybe it has to be more than one grenade. I don't know. to go back and then over there okay so why is this an option then <laughs> what the hell i don't get it how did you break that wall <sighs> so i go to the camino de la lapa and then i go to the question mark northeast okay why snap race back there's a coffee factory to the northeast beyond that is a train terminal Oh, the sniper is up there now. Okay. Let's go. Cafetal Aroma Encantado. So many Spanish words. That would be like uh, something like coffee smelling wonderful place. <laughs> Charming coffee place.
Is that the truck? Oh, there's a prisoner there. Let's try to... Let's try to extract them. Should I be recluting all these soldiers? <laughs> Maybe I should. I, sh I didn't equip the, the analyzer. I need to remember that for next time. Okay, let's try to get this guy. What if I do this? Welcome to the mother base. Enjoy, enjoy joining our forces. <laughs> Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Hell yeah, brother. What was that? I don't know, bro. I'm seeing things. Yes, you are. Enemies close by. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're getting in everyone. <laughs> Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. And another one. How many do I have left? Five. Okay. So if you rescue more hostages, you get like heroism points, basically. Where? Where is this guy? I'm seeing things. Huh? Who's some? Oh, that guy up there. Yeah. Can you like? No. Not really sure where this guy is. Oh, he's there. What it was that? Um. I'm seeing things. Is the guy over here? Oh, that guy. Okay. Bro, they have really good vision. This guy has have advanced vision. I wish I could recruit them, but I don't know how to get up there. Cause this thing too. Maybe the enemies close. This part, this mark, you see. Understood. Dispatching reinforcements now. Are you fucking serious? Did you see me? Oh, he was here. <laughs> Bro, I should have crossed before he called the alarm. Whatever. So now, are we on alert? Yes. Where do they come from? From the Pyrrhus area? Or from this area? Two guys up there. He saw me, the guy from up there saw me, man. <laughs> you can shoot while in the box, it's kind of OP. So we have two extra guards there. 
Can they come down on the ladder? What if I take this guy now? Factory to reach the train terminal. He's gonna check the box. He's gonna see me. Is he only gonna check the sound? The fuck? All clear. Nothing to, to see here. Okay, moving. I see another hostage in there. Okay. Um, can I like, yeah, knock him down again? So he has four stars now. So it's gonna stay long there. Sleep. This guy's gonna probably see me, right? Maybe I need more interior camouflage for this section. Uh, no guard here. Bolton recovery helicopter is complete. Really? There is not a single guy in this section. Are you serious? Okay. I guess I had to climb upstairs. I'm not sure. He's gonna see me coming up. I don't know where he is. I need to spot him first. He's down there. Okay, so we have to climb now. Is there any way to get past him? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Does this make noise? So the safest ways to do this But it takes longer There you go And then You do that I didn't mean to do that I meant to loot him but it's okay. That guy has two stars. Okay, I have to cross and go to that building. Got it. Anyone down here? <laughs> Jeet. Oh, I'm here already. This building. Okay. We did it! No alarms! <laughs> Kappa. So is this where the Basilisco is gonna be? No, it's after after the trains. Oh yeah. So here's a train. Can we maybe hide inside the train as it goes to the truck? High security. Very. Guarded. Um, 
So I'm guessing that's to incapacitate all of them, right? Looks like we're just in time. Yeah. Neutralize all enemies and secure the train. Those tracks are from El Basilisco. Be careful. El Basilisco is at least 30 baht tall. How do I call Pass or Amanda? You'll have to neutralize all those guards. How do I choose to neutralize call? Neutralize that security detail. All of them. I, don't know, I guess they all will only talk to you if if uh, if they need to. If there is something like important. Okay, looking for items. Now let's see. How do we do this? I have three, four, five. Is that it? Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Huh. Okay, well now what? Get in there, snake. Oh, those are. Oh, that's a track, bro. Check out the car. We need to go. The track is leaving. They already emptied. Get inside there. Nukes. Get in there. Run. Oh shit! Another tank. <laughs> So convenient. <laughs> they blocked the tunnel. Oh, I should have a weapon to shoot the, the explosive barrels up. Second gem battle time. To be continued. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's try like this. Um, but I'm pretty sure if you do the extra operations and you farm some you farm some points to for mother base you can develop more weapons and stuff to get it like the thing is i don't think the, the enemy troops. i don't think this game is meant to be finished like uh, like i'm doing because with the mother base development timer the timer new weapons require real time to pass for them to be developed right uh, let me let me see if this works. Right. It did work, it did work, but it didn't do anything, huh? So I'm gonna have to take these guys down like this. One, two, three, four. Yo, Prisma with the raid. Thank you. Everyone is down. Let's go. We're doing it. Thank you, Prisma. Everyone, welcome! I'm playing uh, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker for the first time. We're doing a boss fight. I've been stuck here for like... I don't know how long. <laughs> Hello, Greedy Pie. What do I do now? What do you say? I didn't hear it. 
Welcome, Great Fire. Welcome, Jericho. Well done, Gold Saucer Gaming. Raid! Fuck it, shoot it. Oh. Ouch, I hit myself. Wait, what could I have done there? <laughs> so I've been playing all Metal Gear games in a row. We play Metal Gear from 1987, when they would play Metal Gear 2 from 1990, and then we jump into Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, 3, and 4. And now we are in this one, this Walker. And now we'll do 5, and I'll be done. Hello, Montana! I don't know, I think I lost already. I think there was like a secret strategy there, but I didn't do it. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I don't have more ammo. Well, let's do this. Pass! I need bro! They've located the request for support. They're sending out a cardboard. Hey Phantom Lord, what's up? Bro, what is happening? Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh now they give me six. Uh, dodge. Thank you for the shutouts. How was your stream, uh, Prisma? I don't think I can do it, though. Maybe with the grenades. Oh! I, I cannot put these glasses, though. I guess I can. Fuck it. Oh, I need to take down these boys. Oh, we can just keep shooting, eh? Oh, I think I killed someone. <laughs> My bad. Peace, Walker. So long. I, I'm going... I'm trying to complete the whole game without killing any enemies. But, yeah. <laughs> can I do it this time, actually? I don't have more ammo! Bro, give me a second, guys. I'm sorry. This is too intense. I'm gonna go to just chatting after this. Uh, can we do three health bars with ten grenades? Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm so close. I don't give a fuck, bro! Wait, wait, let me equip the Russians, okay? Wait, I don't die. Stop shooting me! This is how you take down a tank, guys. In real life. He's still two bars. Who in chat, who in the chat has played any Metal Gear games? And how do you like them? Uh, they sent me grenades. They sent me grenades. That's something, at least. Three grenades. Bro. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Fire! <laughs> Invade Quasar's game? Ow, oh, fuck. No! Uh, one health bar, one health bar. He's almost dead. Woo! The dodge. I need to go for more grenades. Why is it giving me these? Maybe... Is this just anything? Can I kill it with this? He's doing damage, right? So Maybe. Oh, I got it! Oh! What? Killing a tank with a rifle. Good job, Kojima. GG. Okay. Hold you.
Thank you, thank you for believing in me. Okay. Okay, interesting. Snake, the truck is headed up the mountain road past the tunnel. So it was nukes after all. What now? Their main base is up ahead. Sorry, oh, Miller, and coloring your face. But Kaz, if I don't get moving, I guess I'm gonna be, be higher. Late. All right. I guess you never did let dangerous assignments or risk aversion get in your way. How do I get inside the mountain? I can forget about the tunnel. Yeah, the tank took care of that. Any other routes? Why don't I let a local expert take over? Snake, you need a way into the mountain? Yeah, got one. Mm, let's see. Uh, do you remember that precinct I was in? Oh my god, I'm gonna the have to go back drive. there. Right. Oh back my to god. The village and head north. <laughs> there is a bridge that connects to the mountain. I'm beginning road. to believe. It crosses over a gorge. That's probably the best way. But there is a little problem. The path heading north from the village is barricaded. Yeah, how do I destroy that? Break through. Got it. The heart of Irasu. That's where the enemy's base uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 ending was so epic. And maybe... Uh, let me guess. The Basilisco. Basilisco. You don't believe me, do you? No, I mean... We'll have to Do they hear the alerts? Oh, Snake. you're right. Irasu features a number of crater lakes. The Odeberg government had planned to I need use to change those that. to construct hydroelectric plants as one of its big state development projects. The project was scrapped. Because I did the music stream uh, the the on Sunday. Meaning. I checked the satellite imagery, but didn't see anything man-made. And the sound alerts built a base are different. The Oops. I didn't think about that. Storage igloo for explosives, or maybe some kind of research facility. What do they hope to accomplish by bringing the nukes there? First things first, get past that barricade north of the village. Looks like the only way through is the whole easy way. The thing with You'll the sound, the music and the DMC and all that stuff is so complicated. Got anything you can use to blow up that barricade? C4? C3? Uh, don't think so. TNT? It depends on what kind of barricade it is, but I'm going to need some powerful explosives. Think you could work something up at Mother Base. How about asking the R&D team to make you C4 explosives? If we don't have enough manpower, you'll have to go find some somewhere. But first, see what we've got going on at Mother Base, okay. Snake. Please. Your nephew had the PSP? Nice. <laughs> what is he doing? He's beginning to believe. Snake. I'm beginning to believe right now. Okay. It's the moment of truth. Oh, shit! It worked! <laughs> Let's go! Woo! What the fuck? So, right now, I am connected to the... It's in the village where they were holding right now, I am connected to the... To the PlayStation Network. So, I can get invaded, guys. Don't be... Don't be... It's like... Is this like Dark Souls? Can someone just appear here? <laughs> Spear run. Enemies close by. Nah, bro. <laughs> Before they call the radio. Does the alarm trigger between areas if they haven't called the radio? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Just testing. I'm just testing. But, like for us, we have the lockbox. We are invisible now. They don't know we're here. <laughs> right? Is that gonna work? We're just the box. We're just the box. Let me go. Oh shit. Oh shit. Reinforcements are coming. This is HQ. This is patrol. All clear. All clear. 
No one here. Nothing to see here. <laughs> uh, I got past you, great pad. You didn't even see me. You didn't even see me, bro. So funny. What is this guard? Hello? Wait, what? There's no one here? There's one guy down there. Ah! Uh, I kinda wanna use a sniper, but I cannot kill anyone, so. Sheesh. So tempting. There is the... Nothing suspicious. You go here. From all the things you see around, is, do you see anything that is out of place? I don't see anything, to be honest. Hmm. Holy, a headshot while moving. Gaming. Look at this guy. This guy. This guy's gonna get juked. What was that noise? That tree looks suspicious. Do you guys do? Do you have, have, do you want? Do you want to see this guy getting taste? Look at this. Huh? What's that? Ah! I taste his dick and I take his ass now. Ah! There you go. He's unconscious, it's okay. Alright, so where do I have to go? This way to the right. Wait. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So now we blow up that that wall, but there's gonna be guards there. So head west from there, and it'll take you straight to the prison camp. Mm, okay, I will. I will go this way because if I put the C4 on the other wall, it will. Yeah, yeah. I have to take the long way. It will trigger the alarm, and we're doing zero alarms. Oh, the sniper is here. Shit. Got him. Oh, how did he shoot? <laughs> he was asleep. Where are the guards here? Oh, there's two snipers now. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see. He's sneaky, though. Got him. What? No guys here. With some help, maybe? The thing now is on that um, on that barricade, we have to put the C4 and get the fuck out of very fast. Or or another another okay, okay, never mind. Another. another option is to take down every guard. Yo, these guards have hel uh, hats, like helmets. Is that gonna spot stop my It did. It did stop my bullet, my dart. Oh, that's fucked up, guys. That's fucked up. Hmm? Oh, wow, so much ammo I have to waste now. Right, so the, 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 in that case, in that case, the, the new strategy is this one. CQC time. The new strategy is CQC. Oh man, the, the guards are gonna get tougher. If that's the case. Look at this guy. Yeah, <laughs> this guy's clueless. Freeze. Freeze, motherfucker. Shooting in the booty. 
Got to slip. Kick it in the face. Keep it going. Once you fall asleep, I'll stop kicking you. The end was legendary. Bro, that fight. Like, Metal Gear Solid 3 just... This is the peak of Metal Gear. Bro, can you literally... This guy is resilient. Uh, you are being recruited. I'm recruiting you. For my mother base. <laughs> literally, that guy's gonna become part of my army now. That's how it works. Fulton recovery your helicopter is complete. Oh shit. God! Do you want to be recruited by Uncle Sam? First equip your C4. You can't plant a charge right. unless it's equipped. I think the the Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. It should be the area should be clear now. Huh. Wait, how do you put the the C4? The gates on the northwest to plant a C4 charge. Hold down the aim button and press the attack button. Oh, okay. Once the charge is planted, press the attack button without aiming to detonate it. Three, two, one. Oh. And today, kids will learn how to use a C4 plastic explosive. Excellent. Now, make your way north. Ah, we got it. When am I gonna fight this uh, basilisk enemy? That was a mission. That was literally the whole mission. That's all I had to do. Walk from where I was to here and put the C4 on and leave. Literally? Really? GG! Easy game. And we got a beer rag, apparently. The fuck? Snake, if we don't step up weapons and items development here, I think you're gonna have more and more problems completing missions down true, the road. True, true. Snake, you there? Yeah, what's up? You've gotta talk to Amanda. What happened? She wants to leave sickbay and get back on the battlefield, but she's not fully healed. She's still in crutches. Who'd be crazy enough to try and fight like that? You have to talk some sense into her. Is she with you right now? No, she's in sickbay. She keeps shouting about how she doesn't want to be there. She won't shut up about it. She's driving me- Let her go. What? If that's what she wants, let her go. I'm really not in the mood for jokes, Snake. I'm serious. Let her go. Why? So she can come back in a body bag? <sighs> I'm really not in the mood for jokes, Kaz. What are you talking about? Amanda isn't the type to just sit around in sickbay. She has a sense of duty. Her purpose in life is to fight. The battlefield isn't just the best thing for her, it's the best thing for her compass too. She'll be a huge morale boost that can only benefit MSF. You think so? You're good at fighting, Kaz. One of the best. But you've got a lot to learn when it comes to people. So, where should I put her? I'll think it over and find a team for her. Don't worry, she won't let us down. Whatever you say, boss. Yo, I have an idea. What's the next mission? Infiltrate the crater base, okay? Follow the nukes and infiltrate the enemy's main base inside the crater of Irasu. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You're north of it the sounds village. serious. The truck carrying the nukes is heading towards shit, the Sheep get real, the boys. That's its final destination. We've got no intel on what lies beyond, so stay sharp. Everything is gonna be fine. Everything's fine. Look at me go. <laughs> Stealth. 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 And first of all, first of all, we need the Walkman, okay? How do you play music?
This is fucking high up, actually. Minus 37%. Oh my god. <laughs> Minus 37% camouflage. We are like extra visible, basically. Enemies close by. Shut the fuck up. Bro, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Get down. Get down, boy. Understood. Dispatching reinforcements now. No backup. No. Alarm. Wait, I had to cross through there. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this this Venus. Uh, you, know what, you, know what, you know what? 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 Restart mission. Restart mission. That was a uh, VR training. That that was virtual reality training. So basically, soldiers before they actually go to the mission, they will get intel from the mission. They will get like a, a map of where they will go and before they deploy they will do a vr training so that was a vr training guys it was it was very realistic it was just very realistic okay but basically um that's what happened now now you now you may ask be asking yourself is this vr training again you don't know you never know because it's so realistic so you basically can't tell what is real and what is not real. I know it's fucked up, but it also helps the, the soldiers to be really immersed and to treat the mission. Something to stand on. You could probably reach that. Something to stand on. What? I need my music, bro. How do you go to the next track? Hello? I don't know. We only have one song. and lurking no problem first so thank you so much for the ride again oh, this shit easy this shit easy bro i need to see where this guy is though. what is it what is the guy up here is he going that, that way now the thing is they, they they hear me if i walk in this metal bridge are we doing this are, are we actually doing this with a pink? Joe, Joe, sneak master. Okay, first room completed. We need to complete the whole mission, no? not only just one. Look at me go. Los Cantos. So, there's a fact. What, what? He said if I had something to stand up, I could like climb there. Okay. Good. You reached the transport route. Follow it to their base. I think I fucked up. Bro, this is... <laughs> with the music, so funny. Look. 
Look at me sneaking with a freaking... Pants, so funny. Right, let's put this guy to sleep. The other guy's there, we can see his legs. Start talking. No? Bro, can you fall asleep? These guys take so long to fall asleep. That's crazy. Cannot see me, bro. Cannot see me, bro. Who's sneaky for you? Recruit that guy. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. That was a good idea, actually. Too late now. Too late now. Too late. Too late. I'll recruit this one. Actually, it's not too late. You are being recruit. Welcome. <laughs> this is how you join military. Engine recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. <laughs> that shit's so funny, bro. Uh, set no alarms. Fuerte la ladera. La the hill fort. Yeah, I'm, I'm your Spanish translator today, guys. This game apparently is on Latin Americas. The so there's a lot of Spanish port. in this You've game. Got to get past it I got this, bro. Don't, don't. <laughs> How the fuck am I supposed to get past a vigilantes up there? Hello? They have not one but two guards just looking on the way I have to go. That's a yikes. That's a yikes. Um, guys. We have a problem. We have a problem. That guy never stops looking my way. And the guys that are on second floor usually have a lot more vision. They can like scout and scan so well. So probably he can see me if I can't. They don't see me. They don't see me. They don't see me. We need to. Hey, I have an idea. I have an idea. Look at this. Look at this play. Make noise. Make noise. I heard something. Let this guy come around. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this. Santa Claus surprise. Are you guys ready? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Got to slip. I say go to sleep. Thank you. All right, we got one. We got one. We got one. Can I go around? Can we? Can we do it? Wait, where's the music? Bro, I was vibing with the music, bro. Oh. Someone, someone is up there. And they hear me. Oh, of course, living position. Nah, that's... He's uh, fixing his neck, uh, his neck, uh, he had like a, uh... it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. He had a, uh... bro, wait, I have an idea. What if I throw a smoke grenade? Look at this, ninja vanish, ninja vanish, ninja vanish. How to cross in front of their face, right? Now. They didn't even flinch. They didn't even say like, oh, what's happening? No, they, they literally don't care. What if, what if they are blind and they're feeling, they're feeling uh, some soldier. Oh shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. Freeze. You know, maybe on the military they have these, um, they have to fill some positions with uh, disabled people. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> and that guy's just literally blind. But they put him, they put him there to like make him feel good, you know, to make him feel like he's doing something. 
And he's like, uh, Good job, Timmy. Good job, Timmy. Now one is getting past. Past the checkpoint, bro. Oh, you know what? Fucking Jolo. <laughs> ah, shit. Come on. Let me, let me. Let me, let me hang. No, you don't let me hang? Yeah, fine. Oh, there's a, there's a hostage there. We need to rescue him. Oh, let's see. How do we deal with little Timmy? <gasps> little Timmy, I think you have to go down, bro. The enemy's here. No, 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 no. No one's here. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. To sleep. Go to sleep. Thank you. It's tranquilizer, guys. I'm not killing them, okay? Look, they're having a good nap. They're having the best nap ever. They're finally sleeping well. They have PTSD. They're soldiers. They can never get good sleep. So I literally help them. Um, literally helping soldiers here. Yeah. Now you're gonna go for a tour. You guys are fine. You guys are fine. Oh, let's go. Where was the hostage? Is there any other soldiers, by the way? Hello? I'm gonna jump here. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo! He's having, a, he's having a blast. It's like, finally. Is complete. Some action, you know? Oh my god. I fear... I fear we're gonna have another boss fight soon. <sighs> I could use one of those. Crater base. Uh, we're... Bro, how... How am I doing this mission naked? Kaz, I'm inside the facility. There's rows and rows of trucks here. If that's where they brought the nukes, then the truck we're after should be there. Snake, can you tell which one of the trucks brought the nukes? Uh, one see. of them must have the same license plate as the oh, one yeah, in yeah. the terminal. Okay, okay. It was... What was the last... Do you guys remember? I think it was that one. <laughs> what? 1496? Are you serious? I think it was this one. My intuition. I don't remember the, the number, but... <clears throat> yeah, it was there. This is the one. The exhaust still warm. But the cargo's already been offloaded. Photographic memory, bro. Just a minute. This isn't what we agreed on. It's too late. The changes have already been... That sounded like Otacon. You told me it was going to be a deterrent that we wouldn't have to launch. I am not arguing with you. What is Otacon, by the way? Oh, Otacon doesn't even exist here. It's how? Perfect deterrent. That's why I agreed to help develop it. Mm -hmm. That is uh, Otacon's father, though. Perfect deterrent. We must show the world our strength. Three key principles ensure effective nuclear deterrence. Mm -hmm. First, you must have nuclear weapons. Second, you must never use them first. And third, and most important, if someone attacks you, you must strike back. Unless we prove beyond a doubt that these three principles work in practice, the world will not accept our new deterrent. And the only way to do that to show them we are capable of actually launching a nuke. But isn't deterrence supposed to stop nukes from being used? Exactly. And so the one we launch will be the last one ever. Mm. I won't let you use my creation like that. <laughs> your creation? <laughs> that thing wasn't even your idea to begin with. You stole it, didn't you? <clears throat> from running? Stole it? Or from Sokolov? You're one to talk. You got the idea for bipedal locomotion from the communists in the first place. 
You listen to me, Doc. Keep quiet. Do as I say. Not another word about stolen ideas. Should we succeed here, you'll be the toast of the scientific community. And your name will go down in history as champion of both progress and national security. The hell with that! Doctor! Unless we prove we're capable of launching, Peace Walker is useless as a deterrent. They say that. They say that. You used me. We used each other. I'll get my old director's job back at headquarters, and you'll finally be able to walk tall among your colleagues. Uh, Wait, is Peace Walker the code name this? for Metal Gear? How unfortunate. I guess I'll just have to take your legs for myself! Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> so, because met all that goes dad here? Peace. Isn't that crazy? Just come to our stock. We are going to have to meet it halfway. The for victory. Richard Green. Okay, so this is the villain so far. Wait! <laughs> hey, you okay? Don't do it! Snap out of it. Where are the nukes? He's gonna do it! He's gonna launch a nuke! <laughs> interesting, interesting. So, according to that villain um, way of talking, you can. Oh my god. I guess. Oh shit, what the hell? Peace Walker. Oh, I did not know this, by the way. like a Metal Gear prototype, right? Take him out. Oh, that's the Shagohawk. What the fuck? Okay, recycling. <laughs> but this one seems a little bit more advanced, no? That's the thing with technology, right? Like, it's very Hoopa. Am amphibious AI attack trap. Yo, look at look at this guy. It's gonna be unmanned. I kind of beat this guy. Oh, but they're gonna let us go back to yeah. To be continued, guys. Well, to be continued. Sorry. I'll see you next time, eh? Bye. <laughs> He's good. But this will be the last mission I will do today. But I'm not sure if I can beat this guy to be honest. I got a S rank. Uh, we got the new code name Butterfly. Uh, title given to soldiers who mainly use short range weapons and fewer taking down enemies with knowledge and force. Yeah, that's me. Uh, that's me. Okay. Hoopa battle. Stop the enemy's Hoopa weapon in its tracks. Difficulty three skulls. Shit. Careful, snake. I've never seen anything like that, and I've got no idea how to bring it down. I've seen it before. Maybe the scientist knows. However you do it, take that thing Have out. I never told you about my epic fight that begins ball game? <laughs> Alright, mission prepared. For this one, sadly, we cannot go naked, okay? Sorry. So we're gonna go back to the... Let's try a new one. Full black. Full white, full red. Now let's do... Palm red. G, 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 G. G and J. Survival. Survival. Hello, friends. Hello, Dennis. What if I bring the RPG and the law? What if I bring both? 
Will, will that be better than... Hmm... Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Let's go. I'm ready. <clears throat> Let's see how this goes. Thank you for the lurk. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Here we go. I don't even have a rifle, but okay. Thank you, cinematic. Okay, hey, what should, should should I shoot that thingy? Eh? Stop! Stop! That's an AI weapon, the pupa. It's fast, so be careful. Should I hit that thing? How many RPs do I have? I'm trying, bro. Okay, decent damage, decent damage. What is that? What is that? What the fuck is that? Wait, 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 wait. Reload! Shock unit, it's not, no, thank you. Wait, what if I go up here? Snake! Yo, I call it Luna with the rave. Everyone, welcome. We're doing all the Metal Gears in a row. We're doing Peace Walker now, which I'm liking the least. But welcome. What were you playing? Resident Evil 4, Hogwarts. <laughs> I got ready three times. I don't want in a boss fight. <laughs> Can you stop? Can we snipe at this? Like, I don't want to snipe it because if I lose the ammo, I may lose the battle option. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let me do. Let me do. Let me do a shut up for you. <laughs> there you go. It's taking a while to finish RE4. RE4 is not a short game. I'm not. I'm not sure about the remake, but the real is uh, quite long. I love the way this uh, thing sings. I hope the killer AI drones in real life strain is like that. Uh, I hope so. Before before you die, at least sing sing me. Sing me something before I die. Then. What the fuck is that thing? Well, I know I'm Morabo. Oh shit! What the? No problem. Have you played this game, Spike? Stop moving. No. Oh, we got it. We got. It. Thank you for the ten bits. Where are you going? Where? Okay. Oh, it can't come out from any of these. Okay, okay. We can hear it sing, right? So we will be able to. Oh. Okay. But I also know Luna. A reason that it's taking you so long is because you take so long to start the game. But I, 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 I like the the just chatting sections. Too. I don't blame you. Okay. It's gonna jeet, it's gonna jeet, it's gonna jeet! Yeah. You know it's true, you know it's true. Ow, sh How many rushes there? What? Oh, that's his eggs. I need. I need. RPG ammo, bro. Wait, what? How did I not pick that up? 
Ahí cayó. Reload, 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 reload. One hell. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? He moved and he dodged the bullet or the missile. C4, C4, C4. Look at this. Ash. Okay, okay, let's set a trap. Let's set a trap. I have voltage. Voltage is. 3, 2, 1, boom! Okay, I got it. I got it. Wait, what do I do? You say climb? You should be able to get in the AI pod. I'm how? Oh, there. <laughs> Imagine I missed there at the end. Holy shit. I'm sorry. This section is made a bit intense. What? What? Uh, I cannot ask you either where you are at the game now. But you can tell me, Akalia. What part of the game? What is the last thing that has happened? Pull out all the AI's memory boards before the pods ejected. The black memory boards are locked. Go what? after the boards with icons over them. What? Uh, 45 seconds? You can unlock memory boards by destroying the mechanical any boards you remove can be used to build our own AI weapons. I don't think I have enough time. But maybe we do one column at a time. Ah, I think I'm dead, boys. 20 seconds. La 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 la. It's like hole. Wait, I'm fucked. Okay. No good. That one's broken. Okay, what do I do? Did I fail? Okay, we got it. We got it. Mission complete. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, can we get this to the mother base? Can we? <clears throat> we got some technology there, you know? <laughs> that was an unmanned weapon. A prototype. I made it myself. Who are you? I work here. Well, used to, anyway. Name's Huey. He's the same voice actor for Otacon, but he changed his voice a little bit to sound different, right? And who might you be? You don't look like one of those mercenaries. Me. I'm uh, an entomologist. Entomologist, yeah, sure. A fighting entomologist? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I specialize in butterflies. I'm here to catch Ulysses. Ulysses? Huh. I didn't think they lived in Costa Rica. Morphos, maybe? That's it. I uh, need to get some before the Washington Treaty goes into effect. You're such a bad liar. It says here Morphos aren't covered under the treaty. Uh, must have slipped my mind. You sure you're feeling all right? Mm. Anyway, long story short, the butterfly got away. So how about it, Doc? Did you make that big butterfly too? Uh, the colibri. Yes. And no. What was that thing? What are they doing here? Huh? Something tells me you're no ordinary entomologist. <sighs> Maybe. The nukes were loaded on that machine. The project's entering its final phase. Project. That's right. The thermonuclear warheads they brought in, the bases scattered throughout Costa Rica, the mercenaries, the AI weapons, the research we were conducting here. It's all for this. We use this facility to develop unmanned weapons. Hacker man time. Unmanned. Robots. The one you just fought was a pupa. There's also a flying type called Chrysalis and a treaded type, the cocoon. Oh. 
motor control, target detection, tracking, what, attack, uh... capture, and transport functions are all controlled by an electronic brain. There's no need for a human pilot. Yo, what's up, man? Did... They can only follow simple commands, though. Why build them? Is that here? pass? For the CIA. No, that's they uh... invited me here a year ago. Emery. That's who that guy was. CIA oh. station chief for Central America. Goes by the name of Hot Coldman. Apparently, he was some sort of hero back at the height of the Cold War. He's the one running the show. We called it the Peace Walker Project. Peace Walker. <gasps> they say that they're going to deploy a new type of nuclear weapon along the Caribbean coast of Latin America. A mobile unmanned nuclear platform. Unmanned nuclear platform. A fail deadly system that can automatically move into position and launch a retaliatory nuclear strike. It can move on its own and stealth shields it from radar and satellite detection, drastically reducing the risk of it being destroyed in a preemptive strike. And this is the new deterrent. Supposed to be. The problem is the locomotion system. There's no dry season in the Caribbean. It rains all year round. The terrain is full of tropical rainforest. A lot of the time you can't even build a proper road. So I went back to where it all started. What's that? Legs. Walking power. <laughs> <laughs> a mobile launcher carrying a thermonuclear warhead even more powerful than the Soviet RDS 220s. That's Peace Walker. Oh, Chico's mess of these Oh, we did the assembly and field testing here. A walking nuke. I sort of borrowed the original idea from behind the Iron Curtain. The missing link between infantry and artillery. Metal Gear. That is the Metal first time Gear. officially they say that name. But in the whole saga, they'd actually need right? to deploy dozens of. Coldman needs funding for that. And to get it, he's planning a test. Did he say it on three though? Also serve as a demonstration for the I'm folks sure. back at Langley. Wait, he's launching a nuke to prove that his perfect deterrent works? <laughs> Taking notes. In his words, to prove that if someone attacks us, we will strike back. Put simply, nuclear deterrence is the idea of using nukes to keep nukes in check. If one side launches nuclear weapons, the other is sure to launch theirs in retaliation, which okay. makes launching an act of suicide. In the end, neither side can use its nukes. Mm -hmm. It's thanks to this doctrine that the world's two superpowers have avoided all-out confrontation. I'll say three. Nuclear deterrence has brought us peace. At the very least, it's prevented. Keep your own lore world game. From breaking out. What is China? But the theory of nuclear deterrence exists only on paper. In reality, there's no guarantee that either side would follow through with retaliation. There's the chance that a preemptive strike could destroy all the missile bases, render them unable to retaliate. I'm gonna make an exam to chat after all but the year long, so you better pay attention. The decision to retaliate has to be made I'm the by teacher. human beings. Let me give you a real-world example. Yeah. Let's say Country X launches first against Country okay. Y. If the people in charge of Country Y are like you and me, they're not going to be able to retaliate, knowing that they're effectively ending all human life. Oh, so then the snowflakes. Oh, oh. That creates a loophole for Country X to be spread. Welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Did you turn blue? Uh, blonde. It or maybe you're already blonde, but now you're a super a retaliatory nuclear Thank you so much for that subscription, time, really. Without needing human input Thank you for the support. The Launching a nuclear Counts strike a long way. against Peace Walker is tantamount to pushing the launch button against yourself. It closes the loophole in nuclear deterrence theory, rendering our friends in Country X completely unable to launch. Oh. What Coldman is saying is that to achieve this goal I can use this awesome emote now that nice. retaliation will be carried out <laughs> I need to by make more emotes he will launch his nuke and then his version of deterrence will be complete and you believe him I believe in peace through nuclear deterrence why my father worked on the Manhattan project he put his whole life into that the Emmerich Curse. And all it created was this illusion of peace called deterrence. And then I was born. Unable to walk. Oh, he was already born like this. I didn't know this. 
I had no choice but to face up to the nukes. But I cannot wait to play Metal Gear Solid 5. That's gonna be. If they do end up launching, that's gonna be fun. all have been for nothing. They've got to be stopped. Where'd they take the warheads? To a base near the border. The final test is five days from now. Oh, shit. Where's the base? You're gonna stop them? Yeah, boy. It's you kind bet. of a hike. And besides, there's a surefire way to But this game back. is so good on, like, story-wise. Like, adding to three. Isn't quite finished yet. And setting up five, right? It's crazy. It's missing one last critical structural component. The AI. It's brain. The reptile pod. The electronic brain I was working on can only follow commands like go there, attack that. I guess you could compare it to the human cerebellum. Mm. But for nuclear deterrence to work, it must function in place of a human decision maker. It needs something to analyze the huge That's the thing with machines, right? And select an appropriate target for retaliation. Hence, it needs Are you going to let a machine decide if a nuclear strike is... The correct or not. Yeah. The hardware configuration is modeled on the human brain, similar to the pod I worked on, but its role is completely different. Where's it being made? A research lab to the north. If it was up to the An machines, that would have left Santa Fe already. We'll be on a nuclear. Hush, hush. Dr. Strangelove. Winter now. <laughs> Strangelove was recruited from the States, too. In the field of AI, there's no one better, that's for sure. But man, what a basket case. She hates everybody. Go to the lab and destroy Peace Walker's cerebrum. I'm pretty sure they haven't finished the final calibrations yet. Yeah. I'll lend you my ID card. <laughs> It'll get you through security at the oh, lab. Nice. We oh, need to get to city, bro, guys. One more thing. Is Char Xavier going to be there? A letter of recommendation. Yeah, it's, um, it's from me to Dr. Strangelove. Don't read it, okay? Oh, of course. The Emmerich Lava Curse, too. <laughs> so what will you do now? Every time. I, I'm done with science. What about his song? Rate, probably already halfway to hell anyway. Not so fast. Why not join us? Our place is Outer Heaven. You'd fit right in. Outer Heaven? Yeah. I'm probably better suited to something like that than this paradise. Good. You get a free Yo, big up. boss recruiting a UA. Alter comes dad. Let's go. You're an agent, right? Who do you work for? Me. I was a Cold War tool, same as you. Now I'm not so useful anymore, so they cut me loose. I don't answer to anyone. Call me Snake. Snake. The name seems familiar somehow. Yeah, it's probably just deja vu. At the beginning of the game, he said, Don't call me Snake, there? and now he says, Call me Snake. Okay. Beyond the cloud forest, see those ruins? Yeah. That's where you'll find Dr. Strangelove's no. lab. Never mind. You say, Don't call me boss, call me Snake, right? Yeah. My bad, my bad, sorry, sorry. Now we have like Metal Gear fucking fanatics on the. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? How do you dare to say that? That's not correct, you know? Keyboard, keyboard warriors, sweating right now in the comments. Snake, the doctor's safe here nice. with us. Huey, how are you feeling? Never better. This is quite the pad you've got here, boss. I'm impressed. Call me Snake. Whatever you say. Like it or not, everyone here calls you boss. <laughs> Bro, that game is way, PTSD, motherfuckers. I have to kill the boss. Don't call me boss. By all means, assign me to the R and D section. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll be of some use. Call me Once Big we Snake. Have the necessary materials and blueprints, we can start work on that bipedal mech. Oh, this guy's gonna help a lot, right? With the R and D. Are you sure you're okay with having your work used for war? I'm. Uh, I'll be using it to keep past mistakes in check. If I can help thwart the Peace Walker project, I'm happy to do it. <laughs> Deterrence theory, Huey style, huh? <laughs> Anyway, if you need any intel on the enemy's weapons or electronic brains, contact me. I've been given my own frequency. Sounds good to me, Doc. I'll do that. Good. Whatever the means, you must put a stop to their plans. Ah, GG. And this concludes... 
You mind if we powwow for a sec? Mm, what now? MSF brand rations? Actually, that sounds... No, no. With all the men we have now, it may be time we started sending some of them to other countries. You mean, dispatching marks? How else are we gonna keep feeding the crew we have? I know. You're right. Okay. To deploy troops, select Outer Ops from the Mother Base menu. Exile. Really well. We might even get new recruits, weapon design specs, or leads on new missions. We can deploy any vehicles or large-scale weapons in our arsenal as well. And if things don't go really well? Yeah, we could lose men. I won't try and force you. You're the one calling the shots here, boss. Okay. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good rest of the night. Thank you for the subscription. Yo, we can thank you for the subscription. Goth Maria, thank you for the uh, raid, the free small Fred versus evil, and Akali Luna. And thank you everyone for watching and chatting and lurking and everything. Much love. Peace. Peace, Walker. Bye-bye. Good night.